a marketing rebel, marketing rebel. All right, I got three things for you to avoid as an entrepreneur so you don't stunt your growth going forward. Uh, number one is a lot of times as when you start a business, you get in and you get really excited because you get a win. You get your first big win inside your company. And what I've seen a lot of entrepreneurs do at this time is they become lazy because they had that win and they generated some revenue. They kind of get comfortable, they get lazy and they don't move forward. And in each one of these things I want to teach you to avoid is learned from experience. So I did this with my first major online product. Something that we did that worked really well was we, we went through this process. We had a product launch. It was a real estate software. And in that software, what I did is I, I took the time, dove into the market really, really deeply, like just trying to figure out exactly what it is and the message that needed to be developed. I went ahead, I hired one of the best copywriters in the marketing space, in the real estate marketing space to write the copy for us. I crafted an angle and a process. I put energy into the, the funnel design and how it was gonna be and I said, all right, I'm going to do this flow different than anyone in our space has done. And I'm gonna do that. And interesting enough, we had one guy kind of get angry that I did it because he had a plan of doing it before. So we got to market faster, which obviously is a whole other lesson in itself. But uh, we did what all the eyes, all the, all the eyes dotted T's crossed, really just put time, energy, focus, and created these really elaborate videos and everything else. It just worked out amazing and we launched. We had a bunch of hiccups uh, before we launched, but once we finally launched, that business went on to do uh, seven figures. We did over a million dollars in about a 45 day period. And then we ultimately ended up selling that company down the road. But what happened is I had that win. And I thought that because I had that win, I had made it. I thought that I was doing great things, right? I, and I kind of got lazy. I didn't have to work as hard on the next project. So, and what I mean by being lazy is we I, I stopped to realize I thought all that success was something that I had done, not all the work we had put in and taking the proper steps to make it a success. So I had other projects after that that were very humbling because I didn't put the work in, we didn't do the right things, we didn't do the research, and we lost on those projects. So one, don't get lazy once you had your first win. First wins are awesome, but it's only one win and it's not the only win that you're gonna have. So keep that in mind. So the second thing to avoid is people believe they learned it all. There's many times that I run up against people, knowing from experience again, and I'll tell a story in a second, people believe they learned it all, so they stop seeking knowledge. So this actually, before I had that software company, I had built an REI operation, built it pretty large. We were uh, funding deals, we were at a mortgage branch, a real estate branch, a development branch, we're doing a lot of stuff. And at the time, I really started, the company grew pretty large at a very fast pace. I thought that I, you know, I started believing my own hype. I started believing I was the result of that. You know, I didn't, what I did is I had a lot of knowledge, I had a lot of information, I had a lot of drive to build it, and I started believing it happened because of me, not because I was constantly gaining knowledge to adapt and grow and grow that business and build that business. And so because I started believing my own hype, thinking that I was the person that made that happen, we ended up, I lost sight of not learning I didn't, and when, it, when I stopped learning, I stopped seeing markets shifting and we actually got caught behind the eight ball and lost everything. So years later, we lost it all because, uh, and I believe, you know, I believed I was a failure actually in that time when that happened. And what I talked about kind of the big lesson coming up here uh, towards the end here is, even though we lost everything, I felt like a failure, but I learned and understood where I went wrong in that process and the lesson in a second. And now the third lesson, People become comfortable, so they fail to grow. And I did this actually with a marketing agency, my marketing agency, we grew really, really fast. And then I got kind of stressed out in the process. I didn't really enjoy it, didn't have uh, fun doing it. And what happened is what I ended up doing was getting an office. I had an office of people. I went and got my own office because I didn't want to be in the office with other people because they stressed me out and everything else. And we grew and so what happened is I was like, well, how do I build an agency that has less clients, less staff, but makes more money? But what happened is I, I created that environment and I got comfortable. The bills were paid, life was easy, stress wasn't there. But what happened is I stopped growing, right? As entrepreneurs, we're constantly trying to push and drive and do more. And I stopped doing that. 
And because I became comfortable in the, the way that I built that agency the second time around that I stopped growing because I wasn't trying to get better. I wasn't trying to improve things. So the big aha that I have for you is, so the big aha that I have for you is it doesn't matter what you did. It doesn't matter. It matters what you can be, right? You need to develop a conviction in your ability and a fight to become the best version possible. And avoiding these three things that we just discussed is going to help you do that. But first and foremost, as you go into entrepreneurship, as you grow your business, or as maybe you're having a down moment in your company right now, you gotta have the conviction, the conviction that you have the ability to do it, and then you gotta be willing to fight to make it happen so you can become the best version and start growing and building the, the business that you set out to build. So, hey, if you gain value from this, uh, these three things to avoid as an entrepreneur, so you don't stunt your growth, if you gain value from this, please like, comment, share, love to hear your feedback. Thank you very much, until the next video.